Update 1 on Cyclone Gabriel, which has winds of 90 miles per hour and a pressure of 968 millibars. As of 9 p.m. Central Standard 9, February 9, 2023, it is currently located 22.2 degrees south, 157.7 degrees east, and there are no warnings in effect as the system continues to trail as a cyclone possibly continuing increasing due to a lot of warm water waters there. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, but it is not likely going to affect land, maybe some as an extratropical system in New Zealand. We'll take a look at satellite imagery and stuff later, but here's the expected forecast from Cyclone Gabriel from JTWC and a mixture of other models. I came up with this forecast. Um, keep in mind, the Cyclone will not hold its intensity as a Category 1 throughout this whole thing, and this is just the um, track. It is currently 560 miles away from Nomia in um, New Caledonia, 579 miles away from Mackay, Australia, 736 miles away from Port Villa, Vanuatu, and 1,400 miles away from Auckland um, in New Zealand, which is not visible on this map, and I don't think Mackay is. Here's we look at the wind field data for um, Cyclone Gabriel. You can see um, the wind field on the north eastern quadrant yeah the north um eastern quadrant it looks like it's the biggest but you can see it does have a pretty good and strong wind field and you can see the hurricane wind field there if you can barely see it here's the sea surface temperatures for cyclone gabriel as i said really warm sea surface temperatures maybe a little bit of wind shear um as it goes along there but it is um likely that it will continue intensifying the cyclone could see the Australian region has heated up a um, little bit and is looking like but it is currently below average right now only the northern part is um really warm but um there's still possibilities of more cyclone activities here's a satellite imagery for cyclone Gabriel um it's um again you can see here you can see it is trying to develop an eye um, I think you can see better of the eyes development in satellite imagery. We'll take a look at it right now. Here's the satellite imagery. You can see um, the eye very better in the um, satellite imagery. And then here's what the um, models say for this system. You can see right now they're going with 981 millibars. This might be from an earlier run. You can see the pressure is continuing to decreasing and um, possibly peaking near New Zealand um, with its pressure dropping the lowest not peaking with wind speeds with 973 millibars as a extra tropical system here's what the JTWC says about this system um, the pink I believe is the um, gust area here is going to go south um, turn to, um, to a tropical storm and then post tropical as it goes for New Zealand this might be effect like cyclone hail Here's other storm systems we have around in the tropic or in the southern hemisphere with a cyclone Freddy also in the um, I believe in the Australian region too um, 11s and then Dingani however you pronounce it 13s in the southwest Indian Ocean uh, which is both of them not likely to do anything you can see Gabriel um, looking beautiful there on um, the JTWC satellite stay tuned and be back for more storm updates